Good morning, my dear children. How are you all? I hope all are good. Okay. So now we start with last four questions of our NCERT Chapter Two Polynomials. Okay. Now we have exercise two point five, and we have question number fourteen. Question number fourteen says, without actually calculating the cubes, find the value of each of the following and you are given two parts okay let us solve any one part but before solving this let me tell you that in the previous question we have already done the identity that x cube plus y cube plus z cube will be equals to 3xyz if there is a condition if x plus y plus z is equals to 0 fine so let us take first part let us first add all these three minus 12 plus 7 plus 5 and when we see the sum of all these three comes out to be 0 that means we say that product of minus 12 cube sorry sum of minus 12 cube plus 7 cube plus 5 cube will be equals to 3 into minus 12 into 7 into 5 which will come out to be minus 12 60 clear now let us do question number 15 and question number 15 is you have give possible expressions for length and breadth of each of the following rectangles in which their areas are given below now in this question also we are given two parts let us solve first part and we are given the area we know that area is length into breadth now when we see to the area which is given to us, in this we find that it is a quadratic polynomial. Hmm. It is a quadratic polynomial and it is a product of two factors. When it is the area, that means it is length into breadth. That means of this quadratic polynomial, we are going to factorize it by splitting the middle term. And I hope by now it is clear how to factorize a polynomial by splitting a middle term. Okay. So just to see the solution, we have area is given 12a square minus 35a plus 12, right? Now here we are having minus 35a. So this factors karne, 35 ko aap break karenge, so it will be minus 20 and minus 15. And we come to the factors as 5a minus 4 and 5a minus 3. So we say that these are the possible lengths and breadths of a rectangle. I hope this is clear. Okay. Now we move on to question number 16. 16th question is also same. But in this question what we have. We are given the volumes. And we know that volume is the product of three factors. And what are those three factors? Length into breadth into height. Right. So let us take the second part in this case. See. Second part when we have taken. We have 12 x y square plus 8ky minus 20k right so when we see to this polynomial we can find out that 4k is common in all these three terms so we have 4k bahar nikal diya jab 4k bahar a gaya then we have the quadratic polynomial left inside and that quadratic polynomial is 3y square plus 2y minus 5 okay up 3y square plus 2y minus 5k dubara se splitting the middle term se do factors karenge ho jayenge ek factor already 4k hai aapka jo bahar hai is it okay so that means we get three factors as 4k y minus 1 and 3y plus 5 so these are the three factors and we can say that these are the three dimensions of your cuboid okay so children, we finish with this chapter. Please practice till we begin the next chapter. Okay, stay safe, be good. God bless you all.